Hey guys, it's Ryan from The Surfer's Journey. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you'll know that I surf small waves a lot. And that's just because the waves that I have access to are often small and low quality. And therefore, I look for boards that go really well in these kind of conditions. Boards that are easy to paddle, they're easy to generate speed on, and they're forgiving in nature because that means that when you get a fat section or a weak section, they're gonna glide through that and just make it a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable rather than surfing a more performancey type of board where it's going to really struggle in those kind of waves. This search has recently led me to the Aloha Surfboards range of boards. They have a couple which are really, really interesting and I wanted to try a few of them. And today I'm going to talk about the Black Panda model in their Eco Skin Epoxy technology. So it's a epoxy board which is made for small wave groveling, so tick tick. And the Eco Skin means that it's the most environmentally friendly epoxy technology on the market right now. It's a category one, can't get any higher. So far I've had one session on this board and that's all it took for me to know exactly how I feel about this board. And to give you the short answer, I absolutely love it. And in today's video, I'm going to explain exactly why that is and that you should have this board on your watch list if you're looking at getting that perfect groveler for summer or just those small days whenever they might come. For those of you who are watching today and have surfed new boards before, you'll understand what I mean when I talk about that teething period that you can often experience when you get a brand new board. It's very common and sometimes it takes multiple surfs to get comfortable on a board or to even work out if that board is what you wanted. But in this case, and very rarely, sometimes we get lucky and we find a board that is perfect. It just gels with us and it's everything that we hoped for. That happens very rarely, but I'm very, very happy to say, and I was extremely surprised that this board was one of those boards for me. And there's a few reasons for that. So the first reason is that when I'm surfing waves that are fat and flat and slow, I'm looking for a board that helps me generate speed on those waves. I'm looking for a board that helps me maintain my speed on those waves, but I'm still looking for a board that allows me to surf a little bit more high performance when I get the opportunity. So say I've got the speed and I finally get a section that I can put that board on rail and push it hard without sliding out. I've had other grovelers in the past, that is their downfall, that they get too slippery when you get speed and you get a good section. You feel like they're just a little bit out of control when it's like that. But I was very, very surprised that this board allowed me to surf at the top end of my abilities when I was given the opportunity, which is very surprising given that this board is almost 10 liters more than I would usually surf, which means it's buoyant, it's really wide and really thick, which I would think takes away from its performance. So that being said, if it still allowed me to do some of my best surfing, then imagine what would happen if I managed to choose a shorter one, say the 5'4", and shaved off a couple of liters in volume, well, it's gonna make this board even more high performance again, which for me is what I'd be looking for. And next time, that's definitely what I'll do. I did find that this particular board was a little bit tricky to send vertical when I had the chance. That was the only downfall, and I do think that's simply because it was too thick and too wide. But outside of all that, I absolutely loved it, and I would definitely recommend that it's on your watch list, and I think it's a top contender for the best small wave groveler on the market in 2024 and beyond. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. I hope that this review of the Aloha Surfboards Black Panda in their Eco Skin technology has opened your eyes to this board and what it could do for you in your small wave surfing. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.